dear students i hope you are all well and studying in your home last week we started the new chapter structure of an atom today we will discuss about its constituents so constituents of an atom at the end of 19th century several evidences indicated that atom can be subdivided and contain uh, certain fundamental particles okay among these particles the most important ones are electron proton and neutron the most of elements are electrically neutral and do not carry any charge at the end of 19th century several evidences indicated that atom can be subdivided and contain certain charged particles among these particles the most important ones are electron and proton Dalton's model could not explain why atoms of an atom element differ in their masses. Later on, discovery of isotopes lead that atom also neutral particles called neutron. Electrons, protons and neutrons are collectively known as fundamental particles of an atom. So overall, of, if we discuss about this paragraph, we understand that in the last 19th century it is already known that atoms can be subdivided okay into mainly three fundamental particles electron proton and neutrons so among these electron and proton are important as they carry charge and neutron has no charge so the three sub Atomic particles, namely electron, proton, and neutron, are now recognized as to be constituents of atom. Now we can say that these are the main constituents of atom. The modern atomic concept is based on the following discoveries. Okay, so modern atomic concept. First is cathode rays by William Crookes, 1879, and J. J. Thomson, 1897. Positive rays by Goldstein that is proton nucleus by rutherford okay positive rays means neutron atomic number of mosley is 1913 given bohr's model and atomic spectra which is most widely accepted it is given in 1913 neutron by chadwick and the post pure scheme of electronic arrangement in 1921 so now we discuss about some cathode rays and discovery of electron that how electrons were discovered william crookes 1879 and and julius plecker 1889 studied electron discharges through partially evacuated tube you can see in figure also this is a partially evacuated tube and a high voltage produced radiation within the tube these radiations are we are called cathode rays because they originated from the negative electrode or cathode so you can see it is a negatively charged cathode and these rays are known as cathode rays though cathode rays could not be seen their movement was detected these rays cause certain materials including glass to to fluoresce or give to give off light television pictures tubes are cathode rays tubes or television picture is the result of fluorescence from the television screen okay so it is mainly television pictures tube are the cathode tube if you open old tvs you can see easily cathode tube within them There are some benefits or you can say characteristics of cathode rays which they exhibit. First is cathode rays like ordinary light come out at right angles to the surface of cathode and travel in straight lines with high speed. Come out of angles to the surface cathode and straight line with high speed of the order 10 seven meter per second normal to the cathode 
they call sharp tattoos if any of a q solid object is placed in their path okay you can see they always are in a parallel line or a straight line okay and they show a shadow whenever you place any opq in their path cathode rotator light pedal wheel if placed in path and thus so mechanical effect that is they impart momentum and energy okay if you put a pedal wheel in their path they will be started rotate okay this means they have the capacity to impart moment and energy the cathode rays are thus material particles cathode rays are deflected in magnetic and electrical fields the direction of deflection show that they are negatively charged okay because they always move from cathode which is negatively charged their velocities change with the applied voltage and they penetrate through the metals and other substances and also produce fluorescence okay fluorescence means you know they evolved out some light an obstacle placed in the path of cathode rays is heated up and the cathode rays show heating effect they also show heating effect cathode rays or striking solid objects of high melting points produce x rays okay so x rays also produced by these cathode rays they can produce chemical change and thus affect the photographic plate they can ionize gases the metal plates plate exposed to cathode rays require a negative charge cathode rays are not produced when tube was completely evacuated so half evacuated or vacuum is needed for the cathode rays production these observation on properties of cathode rays suggested that the radiations consist of a stream of negatively charged particles which are now called electrons it is found that the cathode rays emitted by different cathode material were the same as their charge mass ratio that is electron upon mass was found to be constant all these observation led to the conclusion the electron is negatively charged fundamental particle of an atom and the basic component of matter having unit negative charge that is minus 1.602 into 10 to the power 19 c and mass 9.108 into 10 to the power minus 31 kz that is 1 upon 1837 the part of hydrogen atom so you can say it is very light fundamental particle so next is positive rays or canal rays the discovery of proton so goldstein where discovered the proton or positive rays the positive rays were not observed until the perforated cathode was used okay so he, it used perforated cathode since positive rays pass through the hole of cathode they are known as canal rays also okay so you read from your home this pro proton and discovery of neutron i share with you the discoveries of proton and neutron and electron via these videos animation videos if i found after this completion of this session i share so meet you in the next class thank you